All right, boys and girls, we're going to start disassembling on the 69 Camaro. We're uh, going to work on the brakes. We're going to use our little hubcap removal tool here and see if we can pop these off without, without destroying them or tearing me up. There we go. Man, that is got some weight to it. All right, we'll use the old DeWalt maker loose, and um, you'll say three quarter. Let's see. Ooh, good guess, good guess. Stand by, hold your ears. Drop one. Good thing my belly caught it. Okay. Got that. Now, I was questioning the age of this thing and I couldn't find a date code on it. Cause I was just exactly, it's a Firestone. Let's see. Sun Sport. No, not Sun. Super. It's got a little scrub mark. Super Sport Wide Oval. And like I say, it's a Firestone G7014. And I don't know when they... They may still make this. Corky, Coker or somebody. Oh, look. There's a date code. It don't look like any date code I've seen, but maybe CYLFF47, four, four, no, 4150907. Oh, now, if you go by normal, that would be 07, 2007. Maybe that's possible. I don't know. I'll have to do more research on that. But that's not the topic of this video. Sounds flat. Okay. Now. Take our little apparatus. Someone has been in here somewhat because that's got somewhat new paint on that drum. Come on. Oh, jeers. I think they've been working too well because they're not only scrubbed. Somebody's been in there at some point in time. But we're going to take it all off. It appears very low mileage since it was last into. Come on, baby, I saw you move, I saw it. Give me a little window, just a little window, it's all on. Oh, there we go. That looks old and crusty. That's what we were expecting. Okay. Use some little squeezers. Try to get the cotter pin and back somewhat shape. So maybe it'll pull through. No guarantees. Sometimes you have to break them off. It 
Ta-da! Throw that in the little dust cap so you know where it's at. That are really tight. It's good and tight for my German friends that are watching. It's good and tight. And yes, I do have people in Germany watching. Had one of them come here to the garage. He was in the States for other reasons. He didn't come all the way over here just to see me. But he did come by the garage and take a tour. Okay. So castle nut off. I lost my rag. No, I didn't. I just covered it up. And I don't know. Want a Camaro? Is that the original air cleaner or did somebody just stick a sticker on an advanced auto? Because it's really... Really looks like an advanced auto and they stuck the sticker on it. But anyway, somebody watching y'all let me know on the air cleaner. Inquiring minds want to know. All right. So, love off. Ta-da! Hey. Right. The grease was leaking out of that. Somebody had been there before. All right, now where are my bolts to get that off the... Spindle. Only two? Tell me a backing plate comes home. There's got to be a bolt on top. We'll, we'll dig into that air model here. I was hoping to take that off. Hmm. Let's see. Come on. Hold your ears, it's about to get loud. Oh, come on. Come on, brake lever. Come on. You can do it. Oh, yeah, there you go. And there's still something else. There's still got to be another bolt. I'm betting that. I'm used to the four pattern, but I'm betting that bolt in behind all the brake hardware. I was hoping to take that off as an assembly. Let me get the brake tools. Let me get my eyeball protection for this. Probably should have had them on anyway, but... This is when stuff's gonna fly at you.
Okay, I'm back. I had to take an interruption for just a split second. It was a good reason, but I had to stop for a minute. Uh, so we are back to digging into springs, get them out of the way. They will fly off. Actually didn't fly that far, but close enough, close enough. Get that, get the clip off. And then we're gonna have to use Size, too big, too big. I don't think that was. Maybe? I don't know. We'll try it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. Yeah, that's what it was. Yes! What am I hitting? Ta-da! Okay, got that. Oh, the breakers. I have forgotten. I need the line wrench. Hold, please. Hold, hold, hold. Wait a minute. Do I have a line wrench on here? Nope. Hold that thought. Okay. Let's spray a little, uh, squirt them and, and break them loose juice here. I don't know that it'll actually work, but, you know, whatever. We'll give it a try. Okay. And survey says... The money shot goes to, uh, nope, not going to do it. All right, let's try to tighten it just a little bit. Maybe break it. Nope. Whoa, where'd he come from? Hey, excuse me. I'm being attacked by pterodactyls here. You ever notice when you walk into a spider web, you instantly become a ninja? Yeah, that's going to strip off. It's going to strip. It's shown up! Yep, 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 yep. All right. Boys and girls, I thought this might happen. Uh, do not do this at home. This is a untrained professional move. Um, so don't do this. But... Come on. Put a vice grip on it and squeeze the and tighten a little more than that. She is really in there. Well, see, 69, 2023, 50, 54 years. Someone may have worked on the brakes, but they did not work on the brake line. Oh, 
Oh, yes! I heard it. Ow. I heard that. Jumping Jehoshaphat. That was my finger. Mental note. Don't loosen the vice grips when your fingers are behind it in between the car. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, boys and girls. Stay in school. Stay in school. All right. There is nothing left of that. We'll just have to replace the line. But y'all get the idea. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. You too can be a winner. Nancy Reagan, just say no. Ta-da, bing, fries are done. Okay. Now, take a flat screwdriver, pry against, you wanna take the clip off the clip that's been there also for 54 years, it'll probably be a little easier to come off, come off the brake line. And let's see. Ta-da, see, a little brake clip. Sometimes they rust away, depending on where the car's been. Ooh, got metal shaving right in the hand. Yeah. Ta-da! And there we go. Now, we'll clean up the... Grace, let's set this over here with the brake pedal. Be a good spot for it. Okay. Da, 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 da. Ooh, bee's nest, everything. All right. I ain't gonna make y'all watch me clean this. I will get back with you when we start reassembly. I won't bore you to death. Okay. We're back to putting this together. It's been one of them days around here. If you uh, if you ever meet me, you can ask what went on this day, but we, yeah, just, it was one of them days. Um, so, we're gonna put brackets on. And luckily, these have a part number engraved in them to which one tell you which one left and right. It's a good thing because I'd probably get it wrong just knowing my luck. Um, but basically they give you the bolts and yeah, they are grade eight hardware. Put it on and hold the tie rod up. Maybe I can hold the tie rod in place and get it. Maybe not. Persuader. Do I have it in a bind? Maybe not. I think it was just tight. How about that? It went. Now, let's hope there's some threads left on the other side. That'd be an awesome feature. So, Put the washer on the other side, and they give you a neat little nylon lock nuts. And look at that, the bolt still spins on. Woohoo! There's a win. Still goes on. And I'm gonna need a wrench. Hold that thought. 
Uno momento. Okay, I have returned. I didn't know what the size was, so I just brought a bunch of them. Not that one. Not that one. Oh, T is three quarter. Yes, both sides are three quarter. For those of you that were asking, come with me. Come with me. Come with me if you want to leave. Come with me if you want to live. It's okay, Mom. He's here to help. It's okay. Okay, three quarter. Safety third. Take the maker loose, turn it to maker tight. Oh, jeers! We're just gonna snug them for right now. Send it home. Oh, yeah. Send it, baby. Send it. Okay. Now, a little caliper bracket here. Do, 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 do. The instructions say that there may be some areas of possible material removal, but I don't seem to be having any interference. Interference. Interference and inter issues. So we're going to thread this on. Ooh, the bolt's sticking out there. I wonder if that's supposed to. Hope that doesn't get into the rotor. Is that supposed to stick out like that? Let's see. I'm putting them in the correct way. I don't know. We're going to find out when the rotor goes on. Eh, it wouldn't be a cool feature if it hit the rotor. Maybe the rotor doesn't... Yeah. We're... Hold that thought. We're going to find out. Inquiring minds. Want to know, is this three quarter two? No, it's not three quarter. Is it 11 sixteenths? No, of course it is. Of course. Uno momento, por favor. You know, if I was a smart man, I'd have brought my wrenches with me. But mama says, stupid is as stupid does. Okay, it was five eighths, by the way, just in case you're wondering. That's a calibrated hit there. Years of experience. That's three quarters of a dugga dugga right there. Okay. Now. We need to pack the bearings, but I'm gonna test fit the rotor because that just, eh, I'm not, I'm not happy with that. But if it clears, hey, whatever. We got the rotor. That's it. Open says me. Oh look, packing foam. Yeah, I know there's no bearing in it, no race, but that's gonna. Hold it up here. That will tell me if it's gonna. No. Doesn't appear it's gonna hit. All right, we're gonna go with it. The just in case you were wondering, the bolt resides in this little cavity right here. 
So it's on that bolt circle that it rides there. So, okay, all right, that was a, it was well planned, all right, I'll give you, I just had to question it. All right, uh, I'm not gonna bore y'all with me packing the wheel bearings because y'all have seen people pack wheel bearings before. It's messy and there's nothing sexy about it. So I'm gonna cut that off and we'll get back to that. Okay, peeps. I am a victim of my own not reading the instructions. Uh, the bolts that I was worried about going through the hitting the rotor, it's not a worry. You were supposed to install these little spacers. I didn't put the drum on with the grease yet. You can see it's still hanging. Uh, I just happened to pick up the instructions and read them because I wondered where the little bag of spacers went. I couldn't figure it out. Imagine that, page, page three of the instructions. Um, you're supposed to put the spacer between that and the counter. So let's uh, action take two, um, try that again. Put the bolt in, put a spacer on, and let's try this again just to see what happens. Maybe it's gonna work out better. Just maybe. Okay, got that one finger tight. Let's start this one in. Oh yeah, look at that. Imagine that, who would have thunk it? The bolt is the correct length. Man, it's almost like somebody planned it that way. It's amazing when you read the instructions how things work out. Okay. Go back to the calibrated three quarters of Ugga Dugga. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Open in wrench. Oh no, momento. Por favor. Okay. I am back with the wrench. If I have it, so open. Look, that works much better. Look, wrench says made in China. Surprise, surprise. Okay, now that we have reinstalled that, Let's try putting the rotor on for the first time. There we go. It didn't slip on the seal. Shove the grease in, not on the rotor. Shove it in the rotor. In, in, yeah, I should probably have a glove on, it would be easier, but yeah. We ain't done anything today the easy way. Of course, had nothing to do with this car. It was just today. One of them days you're the some days you're the bug, some days you're the windshield. Let's see, there's a slot. Oh, castle nut. Spin, spin, spin. Come on. Dust cup. West Virginia socket set. Yes, this is a left-hand version of the socket set. Woo, 
was just barely big enough. Woo! Barely, barely, barely. Oh, look at the grease squirt everywhere. Smear it in the cap. Rolly, rolly around they go. Where they stop, nobody knows. Snug her up. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, got a little drag. Keep it up, drag line. Keep it up, drag line. Back and forth, make sure it seats in. Get your grease on the cap. Wipe off the West Virginia socket set. Now we gotta line up the quarter key. And I probably should have looked where the hole was. Ooh, I think it's there. There we go. Wipe the grease off. Oh, ah! almost forgot the Carter key. It's been one of them days. See, David, where's your mind at? Not here. Here, sir. Oh, yeah. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Come on, stay there. There you go. That's nice and tight. Good and tight for my German fans. As they experience far of Nugan. You know, I had one. How to put the ceiling? Where'd the hammer go? Hmm. Oh no, my to use the socket method. Doesn't want to start. You may ask, what's the socket method? 
the three-quarter drive and stuff I use for working on the Peterbilt and the bulldozer. Put to find the dust cup that fits inside the socket. And whale the tar out of that. Instead of denting up the dust cover, you know, just beat up the socket. And they're chrome sockets, so we like to party. They're not impact. One more for good measure. Hiya! And we're there. All right. Caliper. And then we're done with this. On to round two. Finish him. Insert brake pads. And yes, there is an inner and an outer brake pad. Inner one has this little staple clip and it goes in the piston. And then the outer one has a little lip that rides right here in the casting. There's a groove cut in the casting that rides right there. So yes, there is an inner and an outer. Like belly buttons. You got an in here and out here. All right. Come along, my dear. Come on. Come on, you know you want to. Oh, uh, ooh, uh, uh. That was something I didn't think of. I got to turn the wheel. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Ah. To get the bolt past the A-arm. They did not mention that in the instructions. They failed to mention that in the instructions that you would have to turn the wheel. Not that big a deal, but important tech tip. And make sure you put the caliper on that has the bleeder screw on the top. But that will do for this side. As y'all saw me destroy the line, I'm not going to put the brake line on right now. Um, y'all have to do that, but I got to do the master cylinder and brake booster up here anyway. So, that is on. Should be all for that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do the brake hose because I'll wait till I redo steel lines to bother doing that. And y'all seen brake hoses get put on anyway. Okay, well, I think that's been enough of a episode for today. That's a nice, kind word to say for it. Um, so stay tuned for the rest of it. We'll do the master cylinder brake booster. We have to dive into the dash and tear apart those parts and redo that. But how we end all our episodes, thank you, Lord. Thank you for today.